Sometimes you get a car stuck in the snow and you gotta pull it out. When you tie the car on, the knot's gotta be strong enough that it can pull it out, but you gotta be able to disconnect the rope when you're done. I usually make the knot pretty simple. I loop it through with what's called a bite. When I pull the rope, it should disconnect the entire knot. Usually this works, but this morning it didn't. When I tighten up the rope, you'll just see it snap right off. In fact, I thought the whole rope snapped. When it tightens up, you'll see it just release. This morning the knot failed. All right, I'll put an extra loop in. I'm not happy about it though. You're gonna see why I'm not happy about this extra loop. And it's not that it didn't get the car pulled out. The knot worked like a champ until you try to get it off. Once we get the car on the road, I'll show you what happened here. This is a real strong rope. It's a retired repelling rope. I don't know what the weight capacity is, but it's pulled a lot of cars out. So I pull out my first loop with the bite on it, but the second loop is really snugged up. Without a screwdriver, this one is not coming loose. What you gonna do? I'm gonna put the whole thing in the trunk. I guess if we need to pull the car out again, at least the rope's already attached. I've pulled a lot of cars out and I don't know why the knot failed this morning. Got the car out and that's what's important.